Hi guys. So here's another kit uh, from our friends in China. Uh, now this is a uh, this is a kit I know works because I've already built one, and that's always nice to know, isn't it? How are you going to get for it? Set it out there. Get rid of that. And uh, we got ourselves a circuit diagram. Schematic. For anybody at home that might want to just sit and build their own. And these are all the parts. You know, everything's put in there, so. Uh, and here we go with this. Okay. Well, you know. It's be easy. It's going to be easier, I think, just to um, just to look at the board. But it's all pretty much. Yep, it's all pretty much um, easy enough to see what goes where. So we know we've got a tip forty one in there. It's probably this. Oh, that's the IRF uh, five thirty. We've got a tip forty one. Couple of these heat sinks. Mm, got some nice brass standoffs. Set it off the ground. This is for our um, primary turns. And so that looks like it's probably all there. I don't see why uh, it wouldn't be. We've got two 10Ks, two 2Ks, tip 41. Uh, a couple of three mil LEDs. Swap them out with a different colour, but just remember that these uh, reds take less voltage than others. And we got a 350 turn inductor coil there, and uh, J2. J2. That's just a connection, isn't it? And then we got our um, M3 times 10 fours. Four of them. We also have 105, um, presume that's puff, because it's capacitor, we've got a, um, one microfarad, two to three turns for our primary, we've got our DC input, it's uh, M3 times six, times six, oh we've got six screws, five screws, one, oh six screws, yeah, because we've got two for these, uh, Two for these heat sinks. Uh, twenty-five by twenty-three two, whatever that is. Don't know. But to be honest with you, there doesn't really seem to be anything missing from the other one. Oh, and there's this as well. You get a little neon light. Look, a little neon bulb. Seen that? Okay, so let's put it together now, like with all these kits. Always go with the smallest pieces first. So we know we've got two, what is it? We've got two, two, two Ks and two 10 Ks. So I wonder if we can see the difference between. Well, there's only four resistors. <laughs> these are, two of these are together, so we just got to figure out what one of these is. Now I'm going to say this one is a 10 K. Let's have a look. Let's grab a meter. Oh, maybe this will do it. A bit of resistance. Um, put my palm up that. Sorry, there's loads of glare out there. Oh, I make life easier with this. I do like these. You can buy these pretty cheap on eBay. You can buy them very expensively on Amazon uh, here in the UK, but you can buy them very cheaply. Anyway, there we go, so we got our 10k there. Um, I'm going to just, just check these, just to make sure that they're, um, is it supposed to be 2k? 2k? Yeah. Yep, 2k. Okay. 2k is okay. Right, so let's check these two in first then. Um, where are they going to go? R3 and R5. That's our 2k. Uh, boom, 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 we got R3 here, 2K, 
Oh, that's amazing. No, when you bend these, uh, well, to be honest with you, I've never come across a problem with bending them. But I suppose you should always just be careful in case you don't uh, damage uh, the component. But I guess you probably know that anyway. And uh, we got a, what do we have? We had R3 and R5. So R5 is there. Just makes it a lot easier for me anyway just to do it like this put them on and then um, just solder it up I'm not going to change anything and it's not a bad little circuit actually i mean this is just like a little standard uh the tesla circuit but you can use audio now i must admit when i tried using audio uh, with my little my little samsung s3 here because it's got a uh got a headphone jack in it it just switches off the movie player the music player sorry you know just turns it off doesn't allow any output and my i've got a samsung s21 and of course they went the after taking the mickey out of apple they went the apple way anyway which was to get rid of the microphone yeah you know, the headphone socket and uh which is a pity because i liked the headphone socket before and the samsung but there you go I suppose it's for our, the best, for our safety, or something, or something. Right, uh, so we've got this one last, this one last 10k, I think it was 10k, whatever is left, there's only one hole left, so it's going to go in there. Uh, if I can find it, do you bring it? Oh, there it is. Right through the eyes, look. Can't see the wood for the trees. Yeah, so it would be interesting to see if this one actually plays. I don't, I mean, I could try it with my computer, but I don't really want to plug this into my computer. Um, we've got a capacitor there, and we've got that. Where is this coming through? And I suppose, you know, we are. Oh, no, I'm not. Mm. You know, I don't know enough. I, I've already killed one music player playing around. <laughs> not with these circuits, but playing around. I made my own and... Uh, well, not my own. It was a copy of a circuit. And, you know, I just kept... It did actually work a little bit, but then it... Blew the part, blew the little uh, UBO, U O O I, or U I I O player. Mm. That was quite a while ago, mind. Right, so we've got LEDs now, uh, anodes, cathodes, so the shorter one, or if you can see inside it, the bit with the biggest metal plate, or it looks like a metal plate, but the bit with the biggest amount of material inside is the negative, and the longer. Uh, lead if you have it as a new one is the um, is the anode so the anode is the bottom of the triangle the cathode is the the marking across it the line across the top of the triangle let's say Get that in there. now these I'll be careful with when you're doing these because sometimes these LEDs uh, can be a little bit a little bit um, delicate so I just be careful when you're doing that I mean I don't the other ones I put it all the way down to the board near enough but these I leave a little bit of a space there because I'm just trying to keep it out of the way so again the, uh, the longer lead down the bottom and the cathode lead the shorter one at the top there okay we've got our little capacitor what's this not very really big at all is it I mean physically it's not very really big at all I see it's made by, I reckon it's a uh, one microphone, 50 volts, made by SW. Mm. So on this one, you can see on, on here, there's a C1, one microphone, and the positive side there is a, got a little positive thing in there, and all this side is white, and that will go with the, the lighter side of the capacitor. So we'll just put that in, and again the positive look. It's got the longer lead, 
sure to lead on me. Oh, I'm gonna get to the side. Okay, and then we got a little, little 105. That'd be from the horizon, that'd be uh, like microfarad or something there. Alright, so we can just quickly sort that up. I mean, I suppose we could if we wanted to. We could, um, what I do with these is, I'm not going to bother putting any paste on them. The, the couplings of this should be, you know, should be enough of what I'm going to be doing. But if it does need to have paste for any reason, it seems like it's not coupling enough, let's say the... Uh, the transistor itself or the MOSFET is getting way too hot and the case isn't, so the heat sink isn't, then you know, couple it up with some thermal coupling paste. But just for this I'm not gonna not gonna worry about it too much. I just find it easier like this to put these on first because then when you put them through the hole you know how high you know or low the leads need to be. I'm pretty club fisted on them. But we get it done. We get it done. Okay. Alright, so this is our um, tip 41. Tip 41C. And now it's going to face inwards, just like on the diagram. Almost trying to show the fins of the heatsink. They'll just fit into those three holes as long as those legs are, those leads are, uh, are good. And then we're just going poking through, ready to solder up. Just brilliant. Do the same with the next one, same thing applies. I'll fill it down there. I'll pop those through like that. And then we can just flip it. Flip it, and then we're going to solder it. Flip it and solder it. Right, just going to. Oh, need some power over there. Solder on there. All right. Okay, okay. So yeah, there's our uh, standoffs. We can sit that on. Um, we're gonna put these on even though, you know. Yeah, we're gonna put them on. Just put them on. Now this one could be a wee bit tricky. What we're going to do is know which one's the top bit and which one's the bottom. And I'm going to say this bit's the top bit. And the reason why I'm going to say that is because we want the longer bit on the top. Um, yeah, because as this, like, has that little bit of a uh, breakout on it, um, it's going to burn the metal. Then this will get, you know, wear away. It, it, will, it will go wear away so if you have the short of it there you're not gonna have that much but i suppose you can always keep pulling a bit out just keep taking you know take off a turn if you need to but i'll have to check with the other one see the orientation of it because we need to get that correctly around but that's easy enough i mean whichever way we put it on if it doesn't work then we'll just rewind this the other way to the way it is and solder it down again and it should work and then once we got it, you know, working, um, we can then tune this, let's say, or make it look neater. Depends how you, how you like these things. Let me show you what I mean. Yeah, it's like I did this one like this, and you know, um, it maybe works a bit better, different, maybe an extra turn or uh, um, maybe it does work better. But as far as I'm concerned, that looks okay. And it works, and so yeah, we're all good. Did these some of these coils? I must admit, there's a couple of nicks on these coils, which is a little bit worrying. But we'll just leave that like that, now. and hopefully we won't have any damage. On this one, it looks looks okay. Looks good. 
Looks good, looks good. Right, the soldier line should be ready. I'm going to stick this on because I just think it's good practice for me, as I do quite a bit of soldiering. And that just sucks out the, uh, yeah, the, the, the soldered in the air because I don't really like breathing it in. I mean, it smells really nice, but you're not supposed to breathe it in. Um, right, was that going to be in the way? I can just go in on that. Whoa, go back a bit. Oh. Just push that over there. I can't see me getting there any better angle or anything, I'm sorry about that if you wanted that, but right, so we're just going to go over, basically I'm, I'm just going to solder whatever pins are exposed to me, making sure that I spend as minimal time on it as possible, because we're just going to do a little bit of a quick snippy of the ones that I can see that I've done. These can be quite... Um, Oh, blimey, I need to stop drinking, don't I? See my hands. Can I get over where I want to? Um, yeah, these can be quite dangerous, you know, when you're, when you're clipping away with your clippers, because these can just ping all over the place, and you know, you're really lucky you might not stick you in the eye. I've got a couple of cats, and so I try not to get anything on the ground, because like, when they come in, they're running around like lunatics. I don't want them to, like, you know, um, get anything stuck in their paws. So I, I tend to just like put my finger over the end of it before I plink it, and then plink it. It just means that I've got it and it doesn't shoot up anywhere else and it's just easy enough for me to chuck into my, uh, chuck into my little bowl that I keep on here. So the thing is with these sort of things, you know, when you're doing anything like this, just take your time. Take your time, there's no big, you know, no big rush to anything, and you're more likely to not make a mistake. Like, you know, leave a pin. Or cut a pin before you've actually, uh... I really do need to see with this better. Just going to try and straighten that up in there. In there, just so it looks a little bit better, but... Right, I'm going to do it. Alright. So now, I suppose, the easiest thing I'm going to do, I'm going to hot glue. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some hot glue down in here. And then just place the coil. But before I do that, I've got to decide, I suppose this is going to come down into a, here. And what I'm going to need to do is, because this is enameled, so we're going to need to take off some of this enamel. I'm probably going to just use a sharp knife. Um, oh, you can see actually, there is a little bit that's already been taken off by the looks of it. So if I just, there it does look. I don't know if you can see that, can you see that? It looks like uh, a little bit's been taken off the end. I don't know, there you go, look, you might be able to just see it there. So that's okay, you don't really need to do that then, I've done it for you already. I've done it for me, done it for us. Very kind, very thoughtful. I've got no chance of doing this with my eyes. I need somebody else's eyes, help me. I'm going to cheat on it. I'm going to have to bring this down. So does it interfere with the camera? No, it doesn't really. Oh, I didn't realise that. I thought it was like my other one, but it kept making the, uh, the camera have lines go through it, which can be quite... Well, right, I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, that's where it's going to go. I'm going to pull it all the way down to this side and then pop it through like that. But I'm going to get the... Get the heat, get the heat, glue, hot glue on the go. Because we do need some hot glue. Right guys, see us, uh, we've got the hot glue in. And what we want to do is we want to see this dribbling out the end. 
uh, before we're going to use it. Otherwise, it's just not hot enough. I know that's uh, sat out the end there slightly, that's because I, uh, I helped it out. So that's just about it. It would be nice if it just, like, it just drizzles out slightly. You know, it's nice and warm. Nice and warm. That should be okay. Right, let's just get this in here. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully that should be okay. Not too much, not too little. We want it just to build up on the inside a little tiny bit. Ah, well, let's get this. And, and over there. Okay. Don't worry if you don't get it exactly around the, the, the circle. In the circle, I don't suppose it's going to matter too much. Let's move this piece of wire now. Push down that little hole. There we go. Beautiful. That will be sticking out of there. I'm just going to chuck a... Chuck a bit of salt on that. So that's nicely put in there. All right, and this, of course, will be sticking up. Uh, we need to take that off in a moment. It's not very straight, is it? Never mind. I mean, I've only put minimal solder on it really because, uh, in some ways, I like to keep these things. When you think sometimes of what you pay for these things, God, the heat sinks will probably cost that amount of money. So let's see, we can just pull this off nice and gently, really careful so you don't damage anything. And we can pop that up in the air. That's where we're going to get a little bit of corona off. Uh, now, the next thing we want to do is our coil. Now. Now, now, now. Let's just take a little peek and wonder about this one because if that went round that way, let's have a look. So our coil, this coil, is, well, to be honest with you, it's on sort of anti-clockwise. Uh, let's look from the top on this one, see if we can just confirm that's true. Yep, they both are going round this way. Like, if you're looking at them like this, anti-clockwise, which means then, which means that we want to go the other way with our primary. Where this, if I were to take, pull this off a bit, other than the one that we're doing, let's look at the one we're doing, let's keep on this one. Um, it goes around this way. So the other one, yeah, we want to start it off here and bring it around the other way and finish it off in there. Just like I did with this one here. So, you put them in the opposite way. The, op the opposite way. So, let's uh, let's get our piece of wire set up for that. Just make sure I turn that. Ah, turn the old... Uh, they do plenty of wire, don't they? And this is solid core as well, so don't throw it. Because you might want to use this as like hookup wire. You know, and go, um, Breadboards, you know, socket boards, prototyping. Well, I don't know if you can actually say it's prototyping board, but anyway, so we're, yeah, we're, so we want to go um, the bottom, we're going to go into here, and then we're going to go round and round like this. And then that one is going to go into this side here. All right, I know it looks a bit messy, but as soon as I pull this off the end and do it, let's see what I mean. Like I say, you get a bit of uh, solid core wire here, so I'm trying to twist them together and there's only one in there. So let's just pop that through there, stick a little bit of um, little bit of solder on it. Maybe you can still see that, okay? Yeah. A little bit of solder. I don't tend to mess around with a wet sponge with my soldering. I prefer the 
like the brass wool. Don't bother with that steel that steel wool. That's like rubbish doing the sort of thing. It just ends up breaking down. Uh, and wind your turns neatly if you can. The actual insulation on this should be enough for your distance between you. That is something you'd have to play with actually, and I think I might. I think what I might do with this is just for the sake of it, put all of this wire on and see what the difference is going to be by just having the three turns. And let's say whatever the max of this is, just for the output, both of them on a standard uh, um, supply. Let's say what well, there's reckon we can go up to 24 volts on this, doesn't it? So let's not do that because we don't want to just burn out the top real quick. Oh, look at that! Look, I mean, look at the difference on how much you've got to have in there to go to there. I mean, with a bit of hot snot keeping this in place, we got ourselves six turns, I think. One, two, three, about six turns, yeah, six and a half turns. That's that's pretty good. So all we've got to do now is uh, get this off without just yanking the whole thing off. So I'm going to very uh, carefully uh, take that off. <laughs> no, just bend that round and push that through. And just, uh, yeah, I could probably trim that down a bit neater actually, because obviously it's a bit more just directly into that. I wish I'd left the hot snot going on now. Just want to pinch a bit off. Just got to be careful when you do this because if you cut too far into it now, what you'll end up doing is <laughs> snipping it too short and then you won't be able to get those extra turns on. But we're just going to see what happens because there we go. I was mainly trying not to uh, pull the coil off more so than anything else so you know that can just stay like that for now okay we get to play around with that and see what the difference is we've got the other one done there and we can see what the difference is on power output That will be fine. Right, okay. So now we can just pop in the um, standoffs and see where we go with that. Pop that out of the way. Pull the whole thing up. Right. Uh, I don't think we need the soldering on anymore. So I should just stick a bit of clean off the tip. A nice bit of solder on the end just to keep it nicely tinned up. I'm just going to put that there. Just while it carry on sucking that away. I literally just push my, if I can get my hands around the bottom, just push the screw in and do this up. Just as easy, probably easier, you know, than uh, actually with the screwdriver. No, oh, everything's going over there. Let me just turn that off. That out the way. It makes a bit of extra noise in here, but I'll tell you what, you know, I don't have to keep the, uh, the leg fumes down. When you're doing, um, you know, boards with quite a few components, you, it's really nice to be able to do that. Unless you've got a big fresh air thing going on, but unfortunately people are quite noisy outside. That's why sometimes I like leaving it till later in the evening to do my videos, but then I tend to talk a lot quieter just because it's later in the evening I suppose <laughs> and it's generally pretty quiet here anyway so I tend to have a 
everything a bit quieter. Apart from in the morning sometimes. When I go and listen on a Sunday morning to some music. I like soul. You know, stacks of soul, that sort of stuff. All those sort of bands. They're from the old days, 60s. And I love that sort of music because it's just really nice to listen to. It's got something to it, you know, some content, some heart, some soul. <laughs> Okay, so we got this little neon light, and that doesn't actually go anywhere. I think this is just for us to hold, and it will glow up a little bit when this is working. So let's give ourselves a bit of a, a bit of power. No wait. Uh, now, if I remember, the centre of this is is that saying that goes from 15 volts to 24 volts, All right? So we'll put it on 15 volts to start off with. The centre of this is um, is positive. And so on this one, it's with a stripe on it. It's positive. I'm going to connect over here because it's already connected over, the, over there. It's just going into a cheap eBay supply. What we're looking for. Off the end of that is any. Oh, there we got a little bit of discharge. That's nice. Oh, and our little neon light lights. <laughs> look at that look. That's what I like about these. I think this comes on and off when there's music going through it, but you can see that it works. Um, I'm going to turn that volume up a little bit. By volume, I mean voltage. So this is now on 15 volts. Okay, that's uh. I think it's quite a, quite a bit, and you, think you can see the corona, just a little tiny bit there, if I tip that to the side maybe, put it behind there, and uh, it says up to 24, so let's go to 20, right, 20 volts, a little bit more there, how more powerful is that getting, oh that's quite good, good inch away, inch or so, uh, so let's put on to the 24 volts, and we're only using, right, now it's gone up to 300 milliamp. That's 24 exactly on there, which is probably not the greatest of 24, I don't want it to jump. So you can, you can see there the corona, but you can just imagine as well, that's going to eat through that pretty quickly. But we get about an inch and a half there when it comes on. Now I'm just going to back it up a little tiny bit, just so it saves. I backed it down to 14 volts, so it does work with 14 volts, and you can still do the little, um, you know, with this. And to be honest with you, you don't really lose that much distance. I mean, you do a bit because there it was lit up quite well, and you've got to go in that far. But anyway, I mean, it goes to show I do wish I had another cable. Now, I know I've got one somewhere. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> okay, so we can well, we can see that works. That's pretty good. Bit of a uh, audio out of it. I, I don't know why I put it up on this. I just thought it would be uh, easier. Very hot. Mm. Oh, a little bit warm. A little bit warm. Um, I wonder if I can put it up the back there. Just uh, 
quite sure I've got to put a little bit more. Uh, what else can we do with this? Oh, we got this. The good old playing with the fluorescent tubes, because that's always good for these these things. A little party trick. Mm. We could also uh, probably stick an LED on your other one of those coils and get a bit of get a bit of transfer over one of these because. But we're not going to on that. I'll have to play around with that another time. And I just wanted to show that these little kits, hey, at least, you know, some stuff. In. This is from eBay, these kits. <clears throat> uh, I think I bought four of these, three and a half pound each. Um, but I'll have to have a look. I'll put it up on the screen, actually, so you can see where I got them from. If you wanted to get some yourselves. But yeah, good little, good little kit, good little thing to build up, so... <clears throat> okay, so well, that's that. That's the little test with that. Um, that works. That works fine. It works through on the audio. I don't know why the other one wasn't doing what I expected it to, but I'll be able to look over that and see what's going on there. But that certainly does work. So there we go. That's enough for that, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.